We are on page 39 using z to calculate the value of x where z is positive. So this is our inverse normal probability calculations um, and we, we've done the first step going from the probability to the z value. Now we're looking at how to calculate the value of x. So we've got a, our, stand, our backpack problem again. And it, we're told that it is a normal distribution um, that has a mean of 3.3 .3 and a standard deviation of 0 0.4 kg. So the clue that tells us that this is an inverse normal probability question is that it says above what weight do 20% of the backpacks lie? So it's giving us a percentage. As soon as we see a percentage, we know that it's talking about an inverse normal calculation. So the first thing I'm going to do, as always, is to draw my normal graph. So we've got our lovely normal distribution with our mean of 3.3 .3 and our standard deviation of 0 0.4. So this is a little bit different to what it has been. Okay, note that this has changed. Now we've got to be very careful about figuring out which area we're shading, shading in. So it says above what weight do 20% of the backpacks lie? So what I'm looking at is I want to have 20% of the backpacks above some number. So that means I'm talking about an area that I'm just colouring in here that I want that area to be 20%. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to find is how that area there is 20%. Now if we think for a moment about the normal probability tables and the graph that comes with it, that that graph always finds the probability for this area in blue that I'm just shading in. Okay, my beautiful art skills. So if if we think about, well, what do we know about the normal distribution itself? We know that half of it's above the mean and half of it's below the mean. So I know that if the total area here on the right-hand side, that, that total area has to be... Um, 50%. Okay, so I know that that total area in red has to be 50% or 0 0.5. So therefore, how big is the area in blue going to be? Well, the area in blue must be 30%. Okay, so that's what we need to go and look for on our probability tables. We've also got to turn that 30% into a decimal. So divide that by 100, and that's going to give you a value of 0 0.3. And remember, our next decimal place would be a value of 0, 0, 0. Oh, let me just get that so it fits on there. So we're looking up a probability of 0 0.3000. 0, 0. That's what we're trying to find from our tables. So when that's no better, let me write that down. That is our give a label. That is our no, that's not our z value. Undo that. That's our probability. And so now we're going to go back and look at well, what is that z value? Look it up on our tables, and we will find a z value of zero point eight nine. No, not eight nine. Eight four one. Okay, so that tells me, what does that tell me? That tells me that this point here, okay, on my scale, um, equivalently on a z distribution with a mean of 0, that's going to be a value of 0 0.841. So 0 0.8 standard deviations above the mean is such that that area that I'm just colouring in there is 30%. Now I need to work backwards to find out what the x value is. So if we think we've got our formula, z equals x minus the mean over our standard deviation, I've now found that z value, so I'm going to substitute that in, 0 0.841. I don't know what the x is because that's what I need to solve, but I do know that the mean is 3.3 .3 kilos, and my standard deviation is 0 0.4 kilos. So now I've got an equation that I want to solve to rearrange and find x. So the first thing that we're going to do 
is where the opposite of dividing by 0 0.4 is to multiply by 0 0.4. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to leave the 0 0.841 there as it is, and now I'm going to multiply by 0 0.4. And on, on the right-hand side, after the equal sign, I'm going to leave that x take away 3.3. .3. Then what I want to do is that my next step is that I want to get rid of this take away 3.3 because I'm trying to get x by itself. So the opposite of subtracting 3.3 .3 is adding 3.3. .3. So I'm going to get 0 0.841 times 0 0.1, or 0 0.4 plus 3.3 .3 is equal to x. And if I now type that into my calculator, that's going to give me an x value of 3.6364 kg. And so what that means in terms of our backpack weight, so there's our value of 3.3, .3, We've found the value such that there's 30% here oh, or equivalently that that tail area, that's what we really wanted to be told about, that that tail area is 20% and the value at which there's 20% above is this number 3.6364 kilos.